Hello, my wonderful Aquarius people. I hope you're doing fabulous today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading, Aquarius. If you're here, first of all, you're cool. Second of all, you're meant to be here. All right, so let's find out why. What is your message today? What does Aquarius need to know when they come across this video? All right. Well, let's see. First card. We have the King of Swords. We got air sign energy, possibly your energy here, right? in the center of the reading. All right, so all about you. Okay, what else? We have the Ace of Wands, okay. Maybe a little schwing going on, you know, Wayne's World. <laughs> Every time they see an attractive girl, they're like, schwing. Okay, maybe somebody's kind of feeling that way about you. Maybe you're feeling that way about somebody. It could be another air sign, another air sign kind of energy. Somebody thinking about you. And look, we do have the Knight of Cups here at the bottom. So what have I been saying? Somebody, it looks like somebody's thinking about you or you're thinking about somebody or you're both thinking about each other. Lots of thinking, okay? With that King of Swords, it's like lots of thinking, getting close to a decision here, okay? What else? We have the Hanged Man, Pisces energy. Again, decision time. I just heard decision time. Somebody has made up their mind about you, possibly. All right, we have the Seven of Wands and we have the Five of Swords. It's like somebody can't turn away. Somebody can't get their mind off of you. This could be like somebody hoping to change your mind about them. And I know some of you are probably like, oh God, I hope it's not somebody from my past. I don't want anybody in my freaking past. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry for some of you, that could be the case, but you know, I'm, I am gonna clarify. It is, it, it's this feeling of somebody wanting to change your mind about them, or they've changed their mind about you, okay? So maybe this could be somebody who at the beginning was like, no, I'm not interested. I don't, I'm not really feeling a relationship right now. It looks like that's about to change, okay? It's like they, they, they started thinking about you and they, they start like having those swing thoughts, okay? <laughs> I, you, you have to do the hip movement every time you say swing, swing. Okay, it'd be a lot easier if I didn't have this table in front of me, but <laughs> what else? We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. Again, there a lot of thinking, a lot of going back and forth. I feel like this is somebody like, again, this could be you. You can flip the roles, whatever works for you in your situation. But I feel like this is somebody who's like going back and forth, at least for a while there. But it looks like some kind of decision has been made or is about to be made where their view changes. You know, maybe before they were unsure. They didn't know if they wanted anything with you. They wanted a, a commitment with you. But now it looks like something's about to change, okay? It's like after pushing you away, they started wanting you. They kind of noticed that, you know, you were, you know, you were drifting away because they, they told you like, hey, I feel like for a lot of you that this could have been somebody who may have straight up told you like, I'm not looking for anything serious right now. And then after they said that, you just started drifting away because you want something serious, right, Aquarius? And they're watching you walk away, you know, with this five swords. And they're just kind of like, Hold on a second there, Aquarius. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe I changed my mind, you know? <laughs> uh, it's like they kind of liked how, I think for some of you, this isn't for all of you, but for some of you, they kind of, they like the attention of you being attracted to them. And they, maybe for some of you, they kind of uh, led you on a bit because they kind of liked feeling chased. That's for some of you. I don't think that's for all of you. And, and then as soon as you, as soon as they like kind of um, pushed your button, like they, I feel like for some of you, they said, I wasn't, I'm not interested because they wanted you to keep chasing it, chasing them harder. Am I making sense here? And because you didn't start chasing them harder, they're just kind of like, hold on Aquarius. I, I didn't mean it. I promise. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of energy I'm getting here. Okay. What else? We have the Two of Swords. Yeah, this decision. What else? We have the Moon, Pisces, Cancer. So again, it's like kind of these hidden motives, kind of what I was just talking about. 
and hiding that hiding their true desire their true attraction toward you because they liked for some of you i don't think this is for all of you for some of you they liked feeling kind of chased after or ch yeah chased after um they like the attention that you are giving them and to try and like get you to it, i guess to play hard they were playing hard to get right and they were hoping that would get you like even more crazy about them but it actually had the opposite effect right <laughs> and yeah that's and now it's it's funny because now they're the one going crazy <laughs> so they kind of like fucked themselves over there okay and we have the five of pentacles yeah exactly you didn't chase them anymore you you showed them hey i'm not into that i'm not going to keep chasing you if you don't want anything serious because i'm in a i'm a mature adult i don't play these games and yeah they, they watch you walk away they're like wait a second but i didn't mean it okay it's that's the kind of energy i'm getting it's like once they saw that they weren't getting their way now all of a sudden they're changing their mind they're all about aquarius now they're like uh please aquarius i i feel like for some of you they might come in and you know all of a sudden all of a sudden they want you and i think you might be showing them a bit of disinterest now with this two of swords and that might be driving them a little more crazy because they're like damn i wish i didn't do that at the beginning because i actually really do want aquarius i i totally messed this up for myself yeah and then we have the nine of wands under this knight of cups so it's like they come in and then no you don't okay <laughs> all right so let's get some more cards on the situation let's see let's look at you know possible outcome here near future moves because i totally see where the energy is sitting right now like they are regretting like telling you that they were interested they regret, you know, playing hard to get because it, to it, <laughs> it just totally slapped them in the face because you weren't playing those games. Okay. We have information. They could be spying on you a bit. They could be in the near future. They could be trying to like feel out like, are you seeing somebody? Are you still interested? So if they kind of pop up in your life again, and they're just kind of doing small talk or whatever. They're hoping that it's going to lead to more. I just get such a disinterest in your energy whenever they come back around, though. I mean, I could be wrong. We have the chariot cancer energy. Yeah, it looks like they're coming back in. Ready or not, here they come, Aquarius. <laughs> I know, they were such a joy at first, weren't they? How lucky are you that they're coming back around? <laughs> we have control, yeah. And... The chariot can also kind of have an aspect of control you know controlling the chariot um it's like they want to come in and again try and change your mind about them and i don't think you're you're that that easily manipulate manipulatable manipulativeable i don't know <laughs> I, I i'm on to the right word but you know what i'm trying to say you're not easily manipulated there we go there my brain's turned on now there we <laughs> but yeah you're not easily manipulated um but they think they can come in you know save the day you know maybe offer you a gift or some kind of compliment sweet talk they might love bomb you a little bit okay but i don't think you're easily manipulative or easily why do i keep fucking that up M manipulated jesus okay <laughs> We have the Knight of Cups again. Yeah, they're going to come in. It's going to be phony baloney, though. We have the Page of Swords here on the bottom. Yeah, a little bit of spying, like I said, with that information. They're going to figure out how they can come in. When's the right time to come in? Are you seeing anybody? Do they have like a, a little a door of opportunity to like slide into your DMs or your life in some way? It's like they're going to find any excuse to like try to talk to you um but again it's to try and change your mind and because of uh, because of this attempt to try and change your mind it might come off a little phony okay they might come off a little love bomby um yeah and i what's under here we have the foundation yeah it's like they're trying to come in and start something new with you it's like can we just start over 
It's like if well, if you if you wanted to play those games the first time, how am I supposed to trust that you don't want to play games the second time? I mean, obviously they're they're starting they're starting the second well the second chance. I don't know if you're going to give them a second chance, but they're starting off uh, playing games again, like being phony, trying to change your mind, trying to manipulate you, manipulate the situation so that you take them back. I don't know what you did to them, but they just really loved your attention. Like, damn. It's like they, they get something from you that they know that they can't get anywhere else. And I think they're really beating themselves over, or beating themselves up over it uh, right now, and will be for quite some time. What else? We have four of swords. Yeah, you're not... I just, I don't feel like you're really into it. <laughs> you were at one time, but... Yeah, they're gonna come back in, so for whoever this resonates for, they're coming back, and I don't see you being into it. I mean, maybe for some of you, it might feel good to just have them kind of kiss your ass a little bit after, you know, they kind of played these games on you, you know? I mean, that's all fine and dandy if you, <laughs> if you want to see them kind of like uh, in this place for a little bit. We have deja vu, yeah, same old thing. This is just a, I, I keep wanting to say phony, phony baloney. We have ghosted and we have all these cards that flipped over, but I'm not going to take them all. But we have the king of swords again. Yeah, I just, I don't see you wanting anything to do with this person. I mean, obviously that's up to you. That's just what I'm seeing in the cards. If you want to give them another, another chance, fine. That's up to you. Whatever you want to do. But um, yeah, is there anything else coming in for Aquarius? I feel like we kind of understand this situation. Yeah, they're phony. They lost a good thing because they wanted to play games because they didn't want to be a, a, be a mature adult. And then they think, they think that they can just come right back in and change your mind. Yeah, yeah, that's what they think. But no, I don't see that happening. Okay, so what else does Aquarius need to know? We have power. Yeah, you are, you are so above this kind of situation right now in your life or in the near future like you don't even want to look that way I mean look at the four of swords it's like it doesn't this kind of stuff doesn't get your energy anymore because you realize your strength hey what else we have the star yeah Aquarius energy you realize your strength they're both blue for some reason the color blue is standing out to me right now so that maybe that means something to somebody but yeah, just standing in your power. You're onto bigger and better things. Destiny is coming to mind with the star card. We have the two of swords. I'm just getting a very like no going back feeling off that two of swords. Yeah, no going back, death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, there's no going back to these games. You have leveled up. Your energy has leveled up. You're, and because of that, it's like your energy is inviting better people. <laughs> better people, better experiences. But, you know, you kind of have to uh, be very discerning because even though you've leveled up, that may actually draw in the negative people even more because they want to latch on to your energy because you have so much to offer they like i said this person knows they they get something from you that they can't get anywhere else because you've leveled up and that you're on a, a level that not very many people are on energetically because you're figuring shit out you're breaking cycles you're breaking chains you're not going back things can't go back at this point like once your eyes are open to a truth you can't unsee a truth right you've leveled up and because of that, you're going to have people showing back up. It could be even more than one person to try and drag you back. But of course, you can't be. Like I said, once your eyes are open to a truth, you can't unsee a truth. But that doesn't mean that your, your journey is just going to be smooth from here on out. Yeah, you're going to have people trying to fuck shit up because they don't like your energy pulling away. Do you know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, also with that, you... You have the negative negativity, but then you also have the new positive people who are more of an energetic match. So that's something that you need to look out for. You need to be able to discern the difference because some people can be tricky, right? So what else? 
We have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're packing up and leaving on to bigger and better things. I keep wanting to say bigger and better things. I feel like there's so much more ahead of you that you may not even realize. All because you've kind of, I want to say you've kind of energetically glowed up. <laughs> like there's some kind of energetic makeover that's happened. And there's just no going back to this phony baloney shit, this old cycle, these old types of people. You just don't match that anymore. And even whenever you try, you might notice that, you know, some, some people that you vibed with so well before, now all of a sudden it's like, how how were we even friends I don't <laughs> like how did that even happen like you notice a lot of people who go on these kind of energetic or spiritual journeys or whatever a lot of the times they they find themselves kind of growing apart from people in their lives and I kind of feel that like something like that is happening for you and you're gonna those people are gonna be replaced with people who match your frequency okay and I know that sounds a little sad, like, you know, maybe somebody, this is something that's coming to mind, like somebody that you're very close to, you may find, or maybe multiple people that you're very close to, you may find that you just don't get along as well as you used to. And I think for some of you that might be kind of a, that might cause kind of a period of grief um, and a bit of loneliness, but there are more people, better suited people coming in, okay? Like I said, it's like this whole new, it's like this energetic makeover, this whole new cycle that you're entering when it comes to relationships or possibly like everything in your life. Hey, we have the Seven of Cups, opportunities, new things. Just kind of flowing. And we have the Empress, Taurus energy again. You're in this new, just receiving mode kind of energy. You've leveled up, you've glowed up. I mean, what better card to describe a glow up than, you know, the Empress? <laughs> Your energy is just very attractive. Your energy is just, it's stronger. You've learned the lessons that you've, you're supposed to be learning. So for anybody out there who's like, is maybe feeling a little lost and confused, like, you know, am I doing the right thing? Why do I feel so lost? Why are people leaving my life that have been there for so long? You know, why do we just not get along anymore? Like, what is going on? Why am I not attracted to the people I used to be attracted to? This is why, because you're, you're energetically glowing up, energetic makeover, a spiritual uh, level up. And it's not to say that you're better than everybody else or anything like that. Um, it's not a competition or anything like that. It's just that you have been doing so well on your journey that you are leveling up. Like, I don't know how else to say that. Like some people just get stuck in the same cycle and they, some people stay in those cycles their whole life. A lot of people do actually, you know, and it, it bleeds over into like the next generation, their children and then their children. But you are the cycle breaker here. Okay. There's no going back. You can't unsee a truth after you've you've realized it. Okay. So that is your reading today, Aquarius. If that resonated, make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.